we had a problem with a leaky uh, shower head and it was because of uh, this uh, faucets here. I had a video earlier showing how to fix that but this is for an extra complication. Before it was a matter of replacing a little rubber washer inside. Well this is for if that doesn't work. This is a deeper, more serious problem. The seat in the faucet was uh, bad and actually this is what their seat looks like. But anyways I replaced the seat, I replaced the whole faucet on both sides but on this side I couldn't get this little seat out and I used this special tool right here which goes inside here and then you twist it and all I did was twist up the tool yeah it's not too good alright let me show you how this works uh, I've already turned the water off, but there's going to be a little in here, so I have to be careful. Matter of fact, I'm going to step off to the side and turn the faucet on to get the water out. So we take this, took the handle off, take this chrome rim, unscrew that. By the way, this is a, a mobile home or a manufactured home. They quite often have this old style stuff in them. Now there's a flat spot on each side of this that I can put a wrench on. Now when I take this out, there's probably going to be some more water, so I have to be careful. Step off to the side, open it up, and let the water out. Even though the water's turned off, there's still some in there. So that's what we do to do. We take this out. Yeah, okay, so this faucet thing here. If you turn this, and it'll turn it far enough in until this comes out here, okay, then what you do is you take this little screw out and you replace a little rubber washer. One of these little rubber washers. Normally that's all you have to do. Take the screw out, pop this little rubber washer out, put a new one in. Put the screw back in, and then, uh, then you put all this back together. This goes back in here and and everything. Well, here's the problem: the seat on the wall was bad. This is rough around the edge, so when you put the new one in, that rubber washer goes against right here, and it gets all chewed up right away because this is rough. Uh, let me show you a little closer here. Let me take this in and check that out. All right, I took a file and I filed the top of this. So I made this nice and smooth again because it was all rough and pitted. Okay, so let me put this back down again. All right, Let's see if we can see okay. Yeah, okay. So, I took this file and I very carefully, flat as I could keep it, nice and smooth, and made this nice and flat again. No more nicks and, okay, don't forget, this has a tiny little white washer thing. Put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And I really don't think it matters which way it goes on. So, anyway, a little white washer. Don't forget that because it's going to screw everything up, start leaking everywhere if you don't put that in there.
Now that our seat, a lot of seats uh, are not sticking out like this and they're not available to actually put a file on and do that. So they make a tool that you, it actually uses the threads that are in here. It screws on a little ways and then it has another part that goes through the middle and it pushes up against here and you turn it and it grinds this seat smooth. So if you have to, you can do it that way. But this one was really easy because it was sticking out from the wall enough that I could reach it with a file. And, I, and so I just filed it a little bit, put a new rubber brusher thing in here, and we're good to go to put it back together. Oh, I gotta turn that back out. See, before you put this back in there, unscrew this out, out this way. Gives you lots of room in here. Then put it in here. And it works a lot better that way. Okay. Okay. Got that tightened up. chrome piece here that goes on there. You can hand tighten it. I go just slightly. I just barely cinch it a little bit more than hand tight maybe. Put your handle on. And there it is, ready to go, ready to go turn on the water again and test it out. But uh, I've already done it and tested it out and it works great. It's not leaking a drop when I put that, turn the water on and turn this off. And it's working super good. So there you go. Here's the problem. This little seat that's sticking out like that, yeah, it screws into the faucet that's behind this wall and if you can't get that old seat out to replace it with a new one like this <clears throat> what you're looking at is going behind this wall which in this case is a closet in a bedroom and knocking the wall apart and replacing the whole uh, manifold piece that is behind here that these screw into so you're talking a major plum plumbing job and I just avoided that whole big plumbing job with a couple seconds with a file. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. I'll fix it. Remember, like my videos. Give me a subscribe. You know, the new, the new rules, they put new rules now, and they're going to kick me off of this thing if I don't get 1,000 subscribers. Right now I have like 760 or something. Help me get up to a thousand, please. All right, thanks. Bye.